Hey, y'all, you're in for a rocking good time because my friend, American Idol winner, Taylor Hicks is stopping by. Taylor Hicks is the cutest boy I had ever seen. And he's all about roadhouse tunes. And roadhouse food. So I'm gonna be making him a ham and cheese turnover a loaded cheeseburger pizza, and Taylor is frying up his restaurant's signature crawfish rolls. And what's more Roadhouse than a little poker game? I'm so gonna try to take that little sucker's money. So I'm inviting my friends over for some five-card draw, y'all. She's not me, she's Miss Paula D. <laughs> Hey, Paula. Taylor! <laughs> I hear you're having How a... How are you doing? I hear you're having a party. I am having a party. Am I invited? You're so invited. <laughs> I met Taylor in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, I was there to bring food to the food bank, and Taylor was one of the guests. So I had the opportunity at that point to directly say, Taylor, would you come be on my show with me? You brought your guitar. I brought my guitar. I brought some harmonicas. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Well, why don't we go into the kitchen and start making music with our food? Because <laughs> I've got so much to talk to you about. When he first came on American Idol, oh my goodness, I just pray that he would dance. I didn't miss a show just to watch Taylor. All right, what you I'm, making? I'm Let's just make gonna, something. I'm going to make us just a quick little appetizer, a little ham and cheese turnovers. And if you would, I need about a third of a cup of onions, and we're gonna saute them in a little butter. Okay. So if you don't mind doing that for me. Okay. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna cut the cheese. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see if he's awake. <laughs> no, I'm gonna grate the cheese. All right, let's do that. And I'm gonna, uh, Take out some refrigerated pie crust right here. I've got Gruyere cheese, and I've got mozzarella. You All know, of these ham and cheese turnovers. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, you know, what? Because, you know, there's not a lot of times when you're on a tour bus and you're out on the road. Yes. You don't, you don't get that same kind of love no. as you do when you're in a kitchen. Yes. And, you know... You put a lot of love into it, and I, I, I like to do that with my music. I'm so, so we, glad. And let me tell you something. It showed, honey. Well, I appreciate that. Okay, if you throw those in the pan with a, a tablespoon of butter. And uh, so my confession to you is, Michael and I got hooked on American Idol. So I told Michael, we have got to vote for Taylor. People said, well... You know, I voted for you, and I look at them, and I say, you never know. They, you could have been my one swing vote, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it, it was close. American Idol is what you see is what you get, right? It made me have to really work hard at singing and, and performing. Right. Uh, now, what, what, what was that? What did you say that was again? This is just a refrigerated pie crust. You know, if you don't have time to make you a pie crust. Yeah, what do you think about those? It's always good, tender, Because you know my yeah, grandmother flaky. tried to make pie crust for Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff, and we, we, we'd have to just break the news to her that some sometimes her pie crust just didn't turn out right. You know what? It wasn't all that great. <laughs> I don't feel guilty at all using this. I, I think they're delicious. Now, I'm going to take these two. I'm going to make a double crust. You know, before I do that, I've got us a little ham, and I'm just using a deli, deli ham. I'm gonna chop that. So, Taylor, how were you when you started singing and performing? Three or four started singing. Yes, where, who was your audience at that age? Probably grand, grandparents. Okay, and, and, so family. And family. And then it started in school talent shows, and then, it's, uh -huh. then it became you know, bars and clubs. I played pretty good har blues harmonica back then, so well, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's a handy, I tell you, this instrument, you could take it How in many chicks has that picked you up, baby? <laughs> Beat me up an egg. Right in there, baby. All right, now we're gonna put half the cheese there. A little So these ham. are like little pigs in blankets, but with pie crust. Kind of, they're more like ham and cheese biscuits. There you go. Whatever right. it is, I'm gonna eat oh, it. Oh, you'll, I promise you'll like it and just a few onions. All right, now what we're gonna do with that egg is we're gonna come around here just like that. We're gonna make a seal so it will stick so none of our goodness will come out of it. And you know, just like everything else I do, I overstuff it. That's all right, we're just gonna poke it back in there. And then what I'd like for you to do is take the tine of this fork, stick it in your flour, and just come around just like that. When we went Birmingham, you were just starting to tell me, you looked at me with those beautiful eyes, and you said, Paula, I want to be in the restaurant business. The place that I open is called Or. Or? Drink and Dine. Oh, oh, oh. O-R-E, like iron ore. Oh, okay. Because the city, Birmingham, okay. where yeah. I'm from, was yes. founded upon iron ore. And, and a lot of okay. the steel industry mm -hmm. was in Birmingham, Alabama. So I used to play in this little uh -huh. little place in a little strip mall. There in Birmingham. In Birmingham, Alabama. And uh -huh. I just thought to myself, one day if I make it, I'm gonna own this little restaurant and then I'm gonna make some great food and I'm gonna serve some great drinks and look what happened. I got blessed with the opportunity to go back yes. in there and open a restaurant. And so you do not mean it. You have opened a restaurant where you played as a kid. Yep, where I used to play for years. So I think we've got enough turnovers. I don't think we are. Did you just? Did, are you eating that raw? <laughs> Great time so of day. Make, I got to get so this boy make. fed. All right, let's put those in the oven, please, honey. We're going to put them in a 375 oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. Coming up next, I'm fixing Taylor my loaded cheeseburger pizza. And then he's sharing his signature crawfish rolls. Just perfect for a hand of poker. Oh, cook it up, we're gonna have some crawfish rolls. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, bring your cute little tater patch over here and get out our little turnovers. Now, let me ask you something. What, yes. What do you consider a potato patch? Tater patch. Tater patch. It's just like your whole body. Mm-hmm. Your whole body, tater mm -hmm. patch. It can mm -hmm. be your honey, too. That's what I was thinking you were saying. Now you thought I was calling you honey. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a plate and let you be munching on these. Whoa, now hot. Well, I'm hungry. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. We got a pie crust in the oven over there. I've cooked it at 450 for five minutes. I'm gonna cut on our heat. And uh, right over there, baby, I put it in the big oven. All right, so I'm gonna slice us some onions cause I'm making us a cheeseburger pizza. All right, if you would take a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper, just give me rings, please. Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me, Taylor. Taylor. All right, well, come on, look, you fess I, up to me. I'm not the great No, you look me in the eye. How much cooking do you really do? None. <laughs> <laughs> so give me, how, you, how do you All right. cut a well, ring? Well, we're just gonna cut those tips off. Okay and get it deep enough where we can get that ring. Can Taylor Hicks cook? Sorry, Taylor. You cook in other ways, baby. <laughs> so we're just gonna saute our vegetables. All right, so how long have you had the restaurant now? 
Well, Orr's been open for about a year or so. Uh-huh. And, you know, I've enjoyed creating the menu, too. The, the menu. All right, that's what I want to hear about. I want to hear about your menu. Well, we have a Southern Eclectic menu. Okay. Where we do fresh seafood from the Gulf. Well, do you it, ever perform there? I do. I do. I show up with a guitar and I set up and play in the corner. No. And that's, you know, something that I that can do. That thrills people out of their gourd, right? They do. Yeah, they enjoy, they enjoy that surprise aspect. All right, so Taylor, we're going to take these out of our skillet. If you would grate us some cheese, please. I'm gonna put you to work. All right, here we go. So while you're grating the mozzarella, I'm gonna crumble up the ground beef. Now Taylor, we're doing a cheeseburger pizza. How much cheese do I, uh... Well, I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. How about you, Dumpling? Okay. Now look at that nice mustard base on that pizza. All right, look over here. Now I'm not gonna cook this totally done because this will finish cooking on that pizza in the oven. Taylor, look! I hadn't even made the dipping sauce and we're down to four. We're gonna make down to zero in a little bit. <laughs> Say, if I don't Before quit talking that, and hurry. Yeah, if you don't quit talking and cooking, <laughs> I'm gonna eat all this food. All right, Taylor, I'm gonna lay down a layer of provolone cheese and a layer of our sauteed veggies. Come on over here. Just help me put these rings out. I wanna evenly distribute yep. the these. colors, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I am hungry, by the way. Did, I, did I, did I, I kind of noticed you? that, too. Let's put that in the oven. The big oven, 450 for about 10 minutes. I get nervous in this kitchen. <laughs> Up next, Taylor serenades me with a signature recipe from his restaurant, Crawfish Rolls. Put that in a bowl and cool it. But can he make it? <laughs> what have you done? I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. You want to get the pizza out of the oven? Yep. Because I know you're starving. Yes, ma'am. I know that you're starving. Where are we going to put it? Ooh, put it, so put it. You want to put it right here? What do you think? Put it right there, Taylor. You want to try it? Yeah, I would love to. You Looks know me. good. Here you go. Come on up here, and I'll get the light so I can see it. Okay, yeah. Help me, baby. Help me. <laughs> Why did I bother getting a plate out? You knew I was going to get <laughs> Why did I bother with the plate? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think the mustard? I think it ties everything together. Mm hmm Makes it taste like a cheeseburger, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, now, I've been waiting. This is one of those signature items at your restaurant, or Handmade, fresh daily crawfish rolls. I cannot wait to taste. I see you got a pepper up here. Pepper. I see you got a scallion. I see you got some garlic. Start chopping. Okay. <laughs> you are going to put me to work. Well, cooking for Paula Dean is going to be very tough. I mean, that's a very scary thing to do. So I'm pretty nervous about it, but I think hopefully she'll like the spring roll I'm cooking. Oh, my goodness. He's going to use the butter, y'all. You know, if I'm here at Paula Dean's house, Hallelujah. Dean, I'm going to do some butter. Hallelujah. 
Now I'm gonna cut that eye down because you're gonna get hot quicker than I can get chopped. I tell you what, I know you got to have that egg. So why don't you crack that and people eat kind of beat that. People eat these things up at or. Paula, I'm gonna get you to chop some of these crawfish. Okay, I, all right, I'm about to get caught up. So all I need to do is dice up your shallot. And I'll have that ready in a second. I got a couple of cloves of garlic. So there's your garlic. garlic some chopped garlic. Do you know I almost like crawfish equally as well as I like shrimp, almost a little better. They've got such a hard-hitting flavor, mm -hmm. you know? Once you start getting this going, obviously you wanna have some, uh... Oh yeah, about a tablespoon of that crab boil seasoning. Oh my God. Put down in a bowl and cool it. You got it, baby. What do I do? What do I do next? <laughs> Don't forget the black beans that are in the sink. Uh, I got them, oh, I got them, I got them. Oh, the roasted corn. I'm gonna put the corn in the black beans. Because I'm mean. <laughs> she's not mean, she's Miss <laughs> Paula <Dean>. Dean. <laughs> Spinach. You forgot to sing me into my spinach. I've been looking at that spinach for about 30 minutes. Go, girl. Go, girl. She got the spinach in the bowl. She gonna cook it up. We're gonna have some crawfish rolls. You know it. To have this pretty young man in my kitchen singing me the recipe while I put it together, does it get any better? No. All right, now you showed me that you can rock. <laughs> You want to show me that you can roll? <laughs> Rock and roll's my middle name, baby. <laughs> oh my God, you sounded like Elvis when you said that. All right, now I kind of packed mine in good, Taylor. Now this is going to be funny. Uh, oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> Real funny. Mm -hmm. well, now you know see, what? I, might, I took I might be that. creative and make my own. Well, good. You do whatever makes you feel good. I packed mine down, and now I'm going to take my eggs. That does, uh, and now keep I'm going to, yes. And we're gonna use our little rolls, our little we'll Asian use our little spring rolls spring here. Spring rolls. All right. Do yours look anything like that at the restaurant? They do. All right. Come on. Let me see this, honey. Let me think about this here. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> look. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now we're gonna let them cook for about five to six minutes. You know what I got planned for us? What's that? A little poker game. Okay. While you sing to me, Taylor, please tell me you're gonna dance you're for me. You're cheating hard. <laughs> I ain't cheating on you, baby. Coming up next, we finish up Taylor's delicious crawfish rolls, and then the gang arrives for a little roadhouse poker. Trips win! Woo! I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, tell me what you think of these. That's perfect. I mean, that's dark enough to suit you. Yes, sir. Yes, that looks just like... Don't, yeah, don't call me sir. <laughs> no, no ma'am. <laughs> All right. It looks just like an Asian egg roll. Mm -hmm. Taylor, honey, I hope you're ready for some poker. So I had a reason for selecting the dishes that we were gonna prepare because I had made plans for us to all sit down and play poker. Y'all, we're gonna play five card draw. So like a pair of deuces is good. An ace king is good. That's a deuce. Okay, a deuce is a two. <laughs> Either. That's why we did things that you could eat with one hand because I needed to spread my cards with the other. 
Kari bets five. Ten dollars to you, Jamie Cribs. Well, I'm on bet and then raise one. I will take the raise and then raise at ten. So twenty to you, baby. I'm gonna fold and eat one of those ham and cheese turnovers. I never <laughs> doubted that. <laughs> <laughs> They're so flaky. Mm. I still like those salmon and cheese turnovers. You like those the best. Hey, easy. Don't eat those. <laughs> what are you doing? Yum. Those are good. What'd y'all have? I had two twos, a five, a <laughs> six, and an eight. And a queen. Well, I'm just ace high. She's got three of them. Almost just all. straight. <laughs> Way to go, Kari. <laughs> Trips win. <laughs> Give me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> That's okay. good, Y'all. Yes. I like that. I am having so much fun. Maybe in Colorado. I'm having so much fun, but Taylor. Oh, my God. I've got to hear him sing. Please dance for me. <laughs> well, sometimes I get lonely. And that's a hard thing to say, yeah. Until I wound up in the wrong side of Mississippi. A little more than a getaway. Taylor Don't Hicks can sing know. like you wouldn't believe. Mm, I hope someone is there to care about me. Mm, I'm gonna tear this old place down and I'll be on my way. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.